What is up guys and welcome back to another Skate 3 video. Oh yeah, we actually had 2nd and Navy. This right here is called 2nd and Navy in the game, but in real life it's actually called 3rd and Army. That was really lame, but this is an actual remake of a real spot. Today we're gonna check out some parks that are also remakes of real life spots. I have a bunch downloaded here, we have some famous stuff, we have the Barracks 2014, I think Christian Owens made that. It's really weird how it doesn't list the current owner or original author of all parks, but Wallenberg, we definitely gotta go to that. I think I have two Wallenbergs, yeah I also have this one. We can kind of talk about which one is the better one in this video. I also have a love park here, a love park there, and I think another love park here. Let's start out with the love parks. This one is by Taxable Apples. And when we find the best love park, I'm gonna do some tricks down the fountain gap. This one is actually pretty good. Of course, we don't have the love sign here, but I mean, the fountain looks okay. We have the stairs over here and we have the gap to rail. Yeah, it would probably be kind of hard to make this without the bend poles. And I have no idea what DLC these parks use, but this is actually a pretty all right love park. I've also downloaded this one from Chris Quarry. Let's go ahead and check that out. I feel like I've seen that name on a lot of the real life remakes. I don't like how you see the pattern here. I hate that pattern. Oh. Yeah, it's not gonna be this one. It's gonna be the first one or I think this is the one Christian Owens made. I'm not sure because it doesn't say there. I see the gap over here and we have the love sign. That is actually looking really good. We got that stair. Okay, yeah, here we have some DLC, the bent pole rails. Yeah, the one by Christian Owens is probably my favorite one. And another handrail. All right. Yo, dude, what the heck are you doing out there? Back here in this office, busting my butt trying to get these boards out the door. <laughs> handling my end, are you handling your end? Yeah, I'm. Get on it. I am handling my end. I'm skating Love Park. Okay, so I think we're gonna get some tricks at Chris's spot here. Oh my god! I'm on a borrowed account, so I don't have all the pro skaters. God damn it! I at least wanted Chris Cole and Andrew Reynolds for this one. Chris Cole with the backside flip, switch frontside flip, and back three. And Andrew Reynolds with the front side flip. I guess we'll get the tricks as this handsome preset skater. Okay, let's start out with the Andrew Reynolds front side flip. Is this enough speed? Having kind of trouble seeing where the gap starts. That was perfect. I think that was the, the way Andrew Reynolds rolled. It turned out pretty good. I would almost say that it looks bigger in real life than in the game here. But let's also get a Chris Cole trick. So how about the back three? I think we're gonna keep that one. I think we're gonna film this fisheye and long lens. Just because Chris did that in real life. He actually did it on two separate weekends. I love that. And I'm just working out of memory. I don't really have the clips here to look at. The back 360 looks more like a Tom Astor back three. I don't know if you've seen him do it, but I'm actually pretty pleased with that. But let's just get a quick fisheye angle too. But I also want to check out some of the other real life remakes, so let's go ahead and see what I've downloaded. Haven't gotten a chance to check anything out because I've just been, I've spent so much time just downloading stuff. So this right here is a Carlsbad, but it's made by the guy who made like the worst of the love parks. I don't want to diss on anyone. Some might use different DLC and stuff, but mm, I'm not really too hyped on this one either. I think that's the only Carlsbad I have actually. Or wait, do I have more call spats? Nope, that was the only call spat I had. Okay, but I have this Wallenberg and the other one, so let's check those out and see which one is the better one. I can't give any credit because we don't have who made it here. That is so terrible. Apart from these corners being completely 90 degrees and not like smoothed out, I think it's really good. We've got the right color of asphalt. Let's check out the other one then. Oh, and this is actually from that guy again. 
Oh, see, this has the rounded corners as I was talking about, but the asphalt might be a little too light, I don't know. Can I change that? No. <laughs> Let's do a Shane O'Neill nolly back heel at both the spots and we can see which one is the better one. How much speed do you need for this gap? Okay, a little less than that. My skater's just looking nothing like Shane O'Neill. Let's try to film that one. I don't really know how that looked. Got a little nolly in with heel for the style. So we got a little bit of bone in there, okay. I guess he had a fisheye angle and a long lens one. We'll film this one fisheye and the other one long lens, how about that? Size wise I think this Wallenberg is a little too big, but let's try to get it again. Yeah, let's try to film that one. The filming is not going to be exactly like, because again, I'm just going out of memory, so this will have to be how it is. I think I like this Wallenberg a little more than the other one, but let me know what you think down there in the comments. I think it's a tough choice, but this one is closer to the size, I feel like, and the colors are more correct. I don't know. I like both of them, to be honest. We definitely also need to check out Hollywood High. I have one here by Chili Frat. I have this one from Chris Quarry again. A BS Hollywood 16, also from Chili Frat. And then I have this one simply called 16 Stair. I think it's made by Christian Owens. And I was just hoping he had also made a Hollywood High 16. So I guess we'll start up here with the first one from Chili Frat. Starts out looking pretty good. So I think it is a 16 stair, but it's the normal standard stair size. So it is just massive. Oh my God. Otherwise I actually really like it. And then we have the 12 over here. What? The 12 stair looks like... The 12 is also a 16. What? That's such a shame in my opinion. When you actually have a really good looking park. Let's check out the one by Chris Quarry. Okay, so right off the bat, this looks pretty cool. Gotta admit that. And much more life-size like. And this is actually a 16. Okay, that's so awesome. Let's check out the 12. 13, 14, 15. This is also a 16. What is going on? <sighs> okay, so if we ignore the 12, I really like this one. I like this 16 there. But we have one more, also from Chili Frat. Since he remade it, I'm hoping he fixed the 12 stair, but I can see already now he didn't. He made this one a lot different than the other one though. Got a curb down here. This is still a 16? Why would they do that? Okay, we have one hope left. We have this one called 16 stair by Christian Owens. I'm hoping it's Hollywood High, because I don't like the fact that it's a 16 and a 16. That's not how the spot is in real life. Oh, I just think it's such a waste of potential because they definitely put a lot of details into the parks. What is this? This is not Hollywood High. Oh my God, this looks so much like a handrail. Andy Shrug used to skate a lot when he was younger. It's, it's in a lot of his retro clips. I think this is the handrail that Andy was talking about. He had accidentally salad grinded at night or something. Just like I just did. That was a pretty cool clip, but still it wasn't Hollywood High 16. So let's go to, I don't know which one was the best. Chris Quarries. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and go with his. Should we keep it Chris Cole and Andrew Reynolds-ish for the remakes? We started with Andrew at Love Park, so I guess we're starting with Chris Cole this time. Let's start out getting his tuck knee. That is such a crazy trick to do down a gap. Oh, a little more speed. This isn't more speed, is it? Oh, it is. We got that. The 16 is looking really good. I'll have to admit that. It's just a shame about the 12, though. Okay, we got the tuck knee. Should we also do the switch front at 180? I think he said he was trying to switch front side flip as well, but never got that. 
Oh, I like the landing on that a little more than the Chockney. I filmed that a lot better than I thought I could, so I'm happy about that. But let's get... Oh, what should we do first? Should we get the cake flip as well? Or should we just jump straight to the front side, flip over the rail? Of course, we also need to get the variant heel. Let's skip the kickflip and just go straight to the iconic frontside flip over the rail. Let's check that one out. Oh my god, I'm hyped on that frontside flip. That was freaking awesome. Let's get the barrel heel. Really good heel flip. That was done by Lindsay Robertson as his last trick in Dying to Live, I wanna say. But not what we're going for. Let's try to film that one. I was considering filming it fisheye, but the long lens is just so iconic. And there we go guys, I think that was it for this video. We checked out Love Park, Wallenberg and Hollywood High 16, some of the most iconic skate spots of all time in real life. I think it's awesome that people go out of their way to try to make these parks in Skate 3. That's definitely what I want in Session. We need park creating in that game. It just makes the game automatically grow. See, we have these new spots to skate, it's so awesome. I do wish they would have made the 12th an actual 12th, but Hey, let's just stick to the 16 stair then, that's fine. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like. Also remember to subscribe and of course hit that bell to stay notified for future uploads here on the channel. And then I'll just see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.